Hello. I wanted to address this. Clemson fans continually say that Ohio State, that they shouldn't be awarded the game because they settled for field goals and not touchdowns. That is the silliest argument I've heard. Friends, this is the deal. Ohio State was getting field goals. Clemson was getting nothing. A three beats a zero. Clemson's first touchdown drive was because of the bad call that was targeting. That never should have been called targeting. Now, by the letter of the law, was it targeting? Yeah, by the letter of the law, it was. But by the letter of the law, any time you hit an opponent's head, it's targeting. Anytime you make forcible contact, and, and football, is there contact that's not forcible? I mean, that's, you know, that's really a vague term. Anytime you make forcible contact to the head or neck region, that is targeting. So a forearm to the face mask is targeting. You know, a, a block to the head would be targeting. So, you know, those linemen, how many times do you think those linemen collide and hit, hit, hit each other in the head? You know, I played an offensive line when I was in high school. I was an offensive tackle. And, you know, I didn't have really the best technique. But what I would do is I would, I, I'm not the most athletic guy, but I would headbutt the defensive tackle. That would be my first move. Just head, collide heads with him and stun him. And that, because, you know, if it's a pass block, well, you have, you can't go farther than three yards. So I would hit him and then I'd go back and pass blocking technique. So, you know, my, my point is, after Wade was called for targeting and I, and I complained, a lot of people were like, you know, by the letter of the law, that's targeting. So then I proceeded to watch the rest of the football games with that in mind. Friends, targeting happens almost every single play. And usually the only time that it's called is when there's launching. There was no launching with Wade. Wade did not launch into Lawrence. Yeah, he hit him in the head. That so did a bunch of people hit the others in the head that game. Wade was unfairly penalized. And Clemson wouldn't have scored that penalty. That's number one. Number two, Clem they had the roughing the kicker call. Ohio State stopped Clemson in their tracks. And they had to kick, you know, punt. Well then, you know, Ohio State, they, they roughed the passer. And, you know... So, it kind of looked like the passer, the kicker kind of roughed the passer. They roughed the punter. The punter kind of looked like went into the pass blockers. But, okay, usually you can get the, usually they'll call, usually you don't get a penalty for the, the punter running into the kickers. Usually they just call that a five-yard penalty and you replay fourth down. But they called this roughing, which, okay, you know, the Ohio State guys shouldn't have even been that close to call that. But on that same very play, one of the Clemson guys, and, and you can replay this, you can look this up on the internet and you can see this. There's that this how I know is there's actually a video and I saw it. Was that one of the Clemson guys who went down to tackle the Ohio State guy who was gonna catch the ball, but he was being blocked and he took the Ohio State guy by the face mac and twirled him down. That's a fifteen yard penalty. That's a that's unsportsmanlike conduct. You can't grab someone by the face mask and tear them down. So there should have been off, you know, 15 yard offsetting penalties, replay fourth down. That's how that should have been played. Ohio State would have got the ball. But instead, Clemson, they go in to score. So, yeah, okay, Ohio State, they should have got touchdowns instead of field goals. But if it weren't for the refs, Clemson would have got anything. They would have scored like one touchdown if it weren't for the refs. So, they would have scored two touchdowns if it weren't for the refs. I, I forget the final score off the top of my head. But, do you get the point on the... I mean, on the drive that... And then that, you know, that penalty where Ohio State did score a touchdown because Clemson fumbled the ball and that was returned. Okay, first of all... If you don't agree with anything I've said in my video, 
But if you just agree that Ohio State should have got that touchdown call on that play, the game's over. Ohio State wins. Ohio State has shown enough in that game and really dominating. Clemson has some really big plays, but if you're talking about the trench warfare of that game, Ohio State was getting the better at Clemson. That play would have sealed the deal. Would it have sealed the deal, but it would have made a Clemson comeback highly unlikely. So, yes, there's no way. I just named three bad calls that the refs had. Now, remember, I didn't go over the Dobbins touchdown that was called back because I believe the refs got that right. I believe he was down. So I'm calling it fair. Now, yes, I'm a little biased. I'm an Ohio State fan. But I picked Clemson to win that game. So, I expected Clemson to win. And when I saw Ohio State just bullying them, I mean, having their way, I'm like, wow. You know, I didn't expect this. And... Yeah, they were getting field goals, not touchdowns. But that's a silly argument because they were getting field goals. They got a touchdown or two, but then field goals while Clemson was getting nothing. That was enough to win. So don't use that argument. Well, you're in the end zone, you got to score a touchdown. Well, if you're in the end zone and you score field goals and you don't let the other team score any, and Clemson wouldn't have scored without the ref's help, because if Wade would have stayed in the game, that would have changed the whole demeanor of that game. So don't say that argument. So, guys, um, but in the upcoming matchup, Ohio State had the best defense. And they had one of the best offenses. LSU had the best offense. And, you know, an above average defense. Not a great defense, but an above average defense. I think that I don't know how good uh, Joe Burrow is, but I know that he fit perfectly in that offense. And you know what? The right team won the national championship. I'm an Ohio State fan. Ohio State got jobbed against Clemson. They weren't evenly matched. Ohio State should have won that game. The refs, the replay booth took it away. But I'll be honest, one thing that really does, that, that makes it not that sour to me, is that I think LSU would have beat them. Because, like, you know, I saw what LSU did to Oklahoma, saw what LSU did to Georgia. I mean, Georgia was, Georgia's a pretty good team, and they made them not look, look very good at all. Now, Clemson held around, and if Ohio State is better than Clemson. And if, so if Clemson could hang around, Ohio State would have. It wouldn't have been a blowout. But but at the end, LSU would have won. And you know what about LSU? And I got to say this stuff. You know, everyone was complaining. Everyone was worrying about seeds and where you're going to be. And Ohio State should have got the first seed for that tournament. But it doesn't matter. LSU would have won anyway. But this is when they were talking about seeds and interviewing people to make their case for getting the number one seed. This is what I liked. And Coach Origin, or John, I, sorry I mispronounced them, and Joe Burrow, they both said this, will play anybody, anywhere. They didn't, they didn't politic for a better seed. They said, we'll play anywhere, anywhere, anyone, anywhere. I mean, I think after the SEC championship game, didn't Joe Burrow say, Hey, we'll play someone on a on a pebble road up in Canada. I mean, really having them. I mean, that was such a cool mindset. We're not going to even talk about the seed. We're going to play whoever they have. We'll play anyone anywhere because we're the best team, and we're going to prove it. You know, I wish I I wish Ohio State fans. I wish the players would have adopted that that same philosophy because. You know, instead of campaigning for number one, just be like, "Hey, whoever we play, we're gonna, we're gonna prove we're better." That was a really cool thing to say. So, I'm not a big LSU fan. LSU, they um, uh, yeah, that that LSU. I'm not a big LSU fan, but anyway, thank you very much.